Okay. So, while you were in Starlock 3, you knew you about would, them digging. Yeah. Those incidents, we were told just to keep quiet. Whatever you saw going on, just don't say anything. But you never... Did you ever understand why you were there? No, I, I was surprisingly... Uh, how I ended up in <laughs> at Starlight 3, uh, that was unusual. Because it wasn't for a lesson bin. Either they made a mistake or it was... Were you treated any differently than the officers? Uh, no, same while I was there. But, like I always said, the officers always had special treatment. Of course, some of these fellows were prisoners of war for a long time, like the British and all that, and the Canadians. They'd been prisoners of them for four or five years, six years. And uh, naturally, they had a lot of influence with the German guards and all that. So whenever they wanted something, they'd, uh, you know, finagle, uh, you know, underneath more cigarettes, chocolate from the uh, apostles. Were, were these uh, old guards or young all, guards? Or most of them were old guards. But they weren't SS or anything? No. No, they were, I'd say, in their 60s to what 70. What about the same with the guys up in the towers? Most likely, they, yeah, they, that's what they looked. They looked old, too. And the, and the goons looked old, because their shoes, everything, uh, they were dilapidated. <laughs> they looked just as bad as we did. Were you expected to do any work? No. They, uh, not at that camp, but if they thought that was uh, one of the things to do, I wouldn't have done it. So, uh, what was your typical day like? Typical day that is uh, maybe get around, talk to the different ones and where you're from, and try to find out some interests and what they were flying, and how was their missions comparing to ours, and things like that. And uh, how long the missions were, and if I met with a lot of anti aircraft. Uh, and uh, certainly they came from, a majority of them came from England. Uh, did you have um, anything to do? Did you have gardens or anything, or things to, to work on? No. No. We you weren't there that long. No, I wasn't there that long. We played cards and so two, forth. Two, three weeks? We, uh, probably three weeks, maybe a month at the most. And uh, the, the camp wasn't quite ready, but they still sent us to uh, for, uh, Starlight Look 4. And there, uh, there we could see they were still working on it. Did, were, were, uh, were many people from Starlock 3 taken to Starlock 4? No, not many. Only uh, only uh, the few enlisted men that happened to be there. And I didn't see many enlisted men. Just, it was just mostly officers. So just the enlisted guys yeah. had to move. Yeah. Now what um what was the biggest difference with Starlock 4? Was it more crowded? Oh yeah, definitely. And it was, <laughs> well, they figured figure it out, it was, uh, I'd say uh, five to one was, uh, uh, there was five times as many enlisted men as there were officers. Because on a crew there's only four officers. And out of those who survive or whatever, you know. Did, um Did you go to the, the boat at the port between three and four, or you were in four for a while and then you went to the boat? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so so from three, you went to four. Four. And that was more crowded. Oh, yeah. And the conditions were no, it wasn't awful? That, oh, they were not great, no. 
the food wasn't very good. Not like like a, it's not like three. No. And uh, hey, we were lucky to uh, to have. And then and then we did we weren't quite as fortunate to get the parcels because there was a new camp, and to get the Red Cross parcels, it was a little more difficult. Did you? We, yeah, we were did you hear? To, did you hear from your your mother in in Camp Four? In Camp Four, yeah, finally I did hear from. Her. I had already written from Star Lake Three, and of course that didn't mean anything Star Lake Three because once I got the four, it was a different number. Did did you ever meet with anyone from the Red Cross? I mean, was there actually physical contact between you and the Red Cross? No. So you never you never talked to any. No, not to any anybody from working. The the, the parcels they, would arrive. They came to warehouses and then the Germans did whatever they wanted. If they wanted to keep so many for themselves, they did. If they want to pass some of them out. Let, let's go back to Starlog Three. Do you think you were in Starlog Three because of your injuries? I could have been there. Could have been one of the reasons, or else. Uh, for the time being, they thought that they would be a good idea to put some well, in three while four was being... That, that's true. Four didn't open up until sometime in April, or yeah. I, I've read something like that. Yeah. Four wasn't quite open. No. So, and being a fairly high rank, these, you know, I was a tech so they, they would, would prisoners of war, Would new prisoners of war come in every day? Or was it like Not so week? much at three. Not so much at three, that's why. But but more at four. More at four. More yeah. we're going to four. And they were all flyboys. Yeah. And because every camp, uh, the Air Force had Starlight like Luft, and uh, the uh, regular army men and so forth, they called them Dulag. There's a difference. And there was more them than there was Air Force. And and in Starlog Four, it was also a mix of English, uh, Americans, or no, mo they're mostly in, it was mostly English, and uh, I mean uh, enlisted men, but not uh, mostly Americans. Mostly Americans. Mostly Americans. In other words, it was a new camp for all mostly American POWs. So, were people trying to escape from Starlight 4? We always did, yes. Yeah. yeah. We, so, tried, we tried to keep them busy. Anything that we could do to distract them and keep them on their toes. Because two, three times a day, they didn't want a, 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 a count. You know, they'd, they'd blow a bugle, an alarm, and you had to all fall out. They'd want to check up, make sure everybody was around. But the conditions were worse at Star Wars 4. Oh, yeah. As far as sleeping, sleeping as far as Sleeping and that, yeah, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the same. We were lucky to have four or five slats in, the, in our bed. Okay. And it was mostly, uh, I don't remember now if it was just straw and uh, 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 some kind of uh, 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 wood shavings. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For a mattress? Yeah, for a mattress. So, I, you've talked about, for disciplinary, uh, they just hold back food. Oh yeah, at different times, yeah. Was there, was there a solitary in, in, in Stalag 4 also? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Have Did you, that ever happen to you? I, I never went to... Uh, you, you try to avoid that. <laughs> I tried to. I stayed away from trouble. 
You must have heard stories, though. Oh, yeah, different ones. Like, like I told you, a few of them tried to, they thought that they, you know, they probably try at night, figuring, you know, that uh, they'd uh, either cut the, they'd hide underneath a couple of, couple of them. They'd hide underneath the barracks for a few time. And uh, they'd have a miscount because the Germans were bad in counting. So if these fellas uh, tried, they stayed underneath. And at night they tried to crawl underneath the wire fence and figured they had some kind of cutters that they had made for themselves that they could dig under the uh, wired fence. So you were basically locked in the barracks at night? Oh yeah, locked, locked in. And uh, we found out when they got shot that we, they, they tried to, to escape, so they didn't, uh, they didn't make it. Were you ever able to stay in touch with any uh, other prisoners of war that you met over there? Uh, well, yeah, a few of them from uh, uh, Connecticut. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Eddie Mink and, uh, and uh, well, the other ones, I forget his name, but I, I checked it off in my book. I think I saw it in the book. Yeah. Over in Waterbury. And was, yeah, and one of them was John. Uh, and what? what? Uh, what, he was a taxi driver from Boston, Massachusetts. What, um, how healthy were you? Were you in bad shape and so on? Well, uh, we were losing weight constantly, most of us, because you were probably, you a lot of food. So you didn't try to exercise too much, even though there was activities. You know, I figured, well, I'll, I'll, I'll save myself. Some who went out and played all kinds of a little softball, a little baseball, a little softball. You were probably losing weight, though. Oh yeah, every one of us was losing weight. And, uh, I just sort of stayed at that. I could have probably taken it. I I want this that uh, little German, so in case I would uh, need it one of these days. But, I had learned quite a bit for a while there, but I didn't have anybody to, uh, to teach you, you know. How often did you get showers or anything? Well, uh, once a week? Or? Not even once a week. We tried to, to get them to let us have showers. A lot of times they said, well, it's not working. So, they found all kinds of excuses, actually. And they have to do the same thing with the, you know, the, with the, 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 the latrine and all that. So at night, we had to have empty a barrel, you know, like a bucket. And, uh, but it's surprising, the food, what most of them uh, were more interested in was the, was the bread. You know, because whatever you don't have in there, you can get from these other pictures too. And like I said, I was trying to give you, not doing the pictures too. I have to go for you, you know. Oh, we're going to go Hey, John.